What's up, best friends? Branch security isn't what it used to be, and here is why Zero Trust matters. You have a branch. What are you doing today? Well, you're, you're stitching together with different things, going back to the data center, which is fine. Back in the day when all your applications lived here, it worked. And you might have some SD-WAN, God forbid, even some MPLS. And then in the scale needs of life, then you're like, oh, geez, maybe we need to do local breakouts. So we need to have a firewall right here because we have people going out to the private cloud, the AWS of the world, call it GCP, it could be OCI, Azure, the list goes on and on. And of course, you have your SaaS-based applications that are coming, coming into this as well. Office 365, Salesforce.com, whatever. And then last but not least, you still have the internet to kind of contend with as well. And legacy hub and spoke models, they really fail for distributed work because not everything lives here anymore. You're doing things over here, here, and you have employees that want to get out to the internet. So when we start to think about that, you have employees, you're at the branch, they're going to be happy because eventually they'll be on Zscaler. Then you have like a, an OT network as well, devices. Then, of course, then you have IoT, or as I like to call it, the IOD, the, the Internet of Dookie. If you don't believe me, we can talk about that another time. But everything we do has to be a cloud-first approach and has to be predicated on identity. So this is where we kind of introduce the Zero Trust Exchange from Zscaler, and you know the drill. ZTE for short. Allow the good, block the bad, stop the stupid. And then we just have connectivity going over here. Same thing back over at the data center. Look up my videos on ZPA. But as we focus on the branch, one of the biggest things we want to do is get rid of MPLS or SD-WAN because it's not zero trust. In fact, it's implicit trust. It's saying that I trust this network and I trust this network and I trust this thing, but I don't trust this or this. And in the Zscar world, we just say everything is gross and yucky. And this is untrusted, and this is untrusted, and this is untrusted as well. And the reason why is if we have users on the network and devices there, what we want to do is reduce your attack surface. And how do we do that? I know you're probably thinking it was coming, and you're absolutely right. Firewall goes away, and this is where we introduce the Zero Trust branch from Zscaler, or ZTB. And the idea here is simple. We want to give you east to west micro segmentation of your branch automatically. How do we do that? Spoiler alert, we look at the world's most vulnerable network known to man, which is any cellular network running Android devices. What do they do there? They would do a network of one. And that's exactly what we do right here. We come through, take that slash 24 down to a slash 32. This becomes a network of one, and this one becomes a network one, and this one becomes a network one and they just can't talk to each other without going through the zero trust branch. And that's where the magic actually happens. We do policy enforcement here, but policy creation is sent up here, just telemetry to the zero trust exchange, create that policy and send it back down. And in every other video, we have Zscaler client connector for our users or for any device that can run our agent should be doing that. And their traffic is gonna kind of go in this direction. Now, when we do this, when we eliminate this attack surface that removes that lateral movement. So we're removing that lateral movement from here to here, here over here, everything going in this direction over this direction, or heck, even the open internet. So you can't hack what you can't see. By reducing that attack surface, it helps take that giant bullseye and helps eliminate it down. Each thing becomes its own little island. And if there is something wonky going on, this IoT device reached out the internet through a supply chain attack and it's been compromised, your attack surface is going to be that one box, right? You can't talk here, can't talk here, can't talk over here, or anything out over there. So if that device gets pop like a due date, you're going to be completely covered. So now you can modernize your branch with zero trust today. Do me a favor, like this video, share it, repost it, become my real best friend in life. That's my time. Thank you for watching.